Okay, I just made the worst thumbnail. That's what I have to do. I'll just make it work. I hope my camera's zoomed in and in the right position and everything. I've got all of these monkey toys that I'm going to review. Oh, I hope my settings are right. And I hope that this isn't on like a private video because sometimes I do that. Oh, that would be horrible because all of my settings. Oh no, people are showing up. This is good. Okay, so what I'm looking at today are some, I got this Wonder Park monkey. It's kind of like a Mr. Potato Head. I don't know the company that makes this. It's um, Funrise makes this toy. And then I have this um, Gujitsu, which I've never opened one of these. This is the one that I definitely have to get. There's a new series of these out. Probably maybe they might be on to their third series. Those are the ones. There's some really cool ones. The monkey came out later in the wave, and I was so excited to get that. And I knew I had to get at least one of these. They are like 5.5-inch figures, so they're really cool and cute. Oh, we got some people joining us. Smash Zone is in the house. Lisa's here. Sailor Audrey's here. Thanks for giving the video a like, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like, guys. Um, I have these bananas. Do you know what these are called? I forget what these are called. Hopefully the checklist will show me. They come off of their card backs. I thought I had more of these, too. Maybe I opened them. They can be snapped together. I think I got a deal on these because um, they were separated from their package. Um, thanks for your like, by the way. Okay, um, I've got these Orbeez Banana. I think this is the only one that I bought. I thought I bought more of these. Maybe they were $4 at Dollarama. So I thought that price was a bit much. I need to sit on a pillow. Maybe I'll sit on one of my cubes because my back is starting to hurt. Okay. I also have these wooden blocks. I probably should have saved those four wooden blocks. I have to also turn off my computer. Oh, that looks like that was a message to say that I went live. So you guys are probably just getting the message now that I'm going live. These. Yeah, I have a huge um, love for wooden toys and blocks, but since I'm opening all kinds of monkeys today, um, I also have some monkeys that I've also opened, some cray creatures. I don't think I'm going to be open up uh, nanners today, but he's just one. I'm going to think I'm going to wait until I get the third one of these, which is, it doesn't show you the other ones you can get. Anyway, it's like a creature from the Black Lagoon. It's actually, I can show you, it's this guy in that scale. So I think I'm going to wait until I find him. And I also have this one already. So that's the third. And I don't think they made Nanners, but they do have this guy who looks like him. And that goes, he kind of looks like a monkey. So he kind of fits in with the monkey. Um, honeycombs in the house. You must be an angel. I can see in your, I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for your likes, by the way. Hey, thanks for your likes, by the way. How do I get started? Since I have so many of these, let's open up these. I don't know what they are or where they came from. Do you guys know the name? I think it'll say in the checklist, so then I can get things underway here. Has anybody seen the movie Wonder Park? Because I haven't, and I... Um, it was, it was, they had so many toys that came out so quickly and then they just vanished all of a sudden. Wow, this is really a tight piece of plastic. And I'm trying not to like break anything. Maybe there's a pull tab there that I can't see. Let's see. Okay, oh, there is, apparently. I really should have a place for my garbage. I think we get little figures and stuff in here. Let's take a look at this. Hey, Stephen, thanks for coming by. Hope you got a notification. Thanks for your likes too, by the way. There's so many things. Apparently people like to open up these in the store because I'm always finding them opened. I guess the plastic can come off really easy. It's funny that I couldn't. Hey, I also have these squishy bananas. 
don't know if I showed you that. This one, this one had a tag wrapped around it. And do you see there's an indent? It never went away. And then this was where it was in my box of stuff waiting to be reviewed. And I think, oh yeah, it was probably touching this and the marker came off on the banana that kind of screw that's kind of i don't like that but this is a nice squishy banana i got this at a toy warehouse it was by the cash i think it was three dollars it's a nice slow rise it looks really legit back to these um rubber bananas they're like the pack there's so much packaging to them it's really bizarre like this is so heavy and so thick and are you really going to use this again? I don't know. It's a weird thing. And apparently they're just called bananas. I don't know how they copy wrote that name. Hey, Monchi Chi man. Thanks for coming in. I thank you guys for getting notifications. I'm really happy about that. Hey, Jennifer's in the house. Thanks for joining us. Hola. So here's the checklist. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. They spell bananas. Bananas. They're just called bananas because it's bananas.toys. I don't know how they were able to make the toy called bananas. Anyway, that's the possibilities of what we're going to get. I don't know if we can get two or one or it's an accessory. It's been a long time since I've seen somebody open one of these. Thanks for your likes, guys. Okay, let's see here. This is the little package I'm opening first. And look at this. Do you even know what that is? I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's like a little fruit. Are those feet? Is there a face on it? I can't tell. Those must be feet there. And there's this other thing. Maybe it's just food. I don't know. Is that a taco? Okay, I think that's a taco. Does the taco have feet? Those look like feet. I don't see a face on this taco, though. It's got to be a taco, though, right? What do you think? Okay. And then also in this bag, they have these little stickers that look like something that girls would wear on their face. Or, I mean, anybody could wear And it looks like it is a picture of the animal that we got today. And would you say that's a sloth? I'm thinking that is a sloth, a fruit sloth. It's cute. Um, a Mars in the house, PhD Dolector is in the house. Thanks for joining me and thanks for giving the video a like. Okay, let's um. I already showed you. What, what do I open next? I think I'm going to open up another one of these just because why not, right? Wait, I think there was another bag. There was. I'm not done yet. There's more accessories for these bananas. We've got a branch. It looks like for some kind of accessory hanging. And then we have this leaf and clip. And I think you're supposed to clip that onto there, clip this onto here. And then I don't know where you're supposed to hang that. I guess you could hang it anywhere, but I'm going to hang it off the banana. Okay. Now, now really, really, I think I'm done with that banana, but let's open up another banana. Let's open up one of the yellow ones that are legit banana colored. I'm um, Jason. It's great to be here with you. I hope you're coming, coping well with this horrendous COVID-19. You know what? It hasn't been really that much different for me. I have no um, income right now, but besides that, 
just just another day. Again, such a thick case. I guess it's cute. I guess if I just like display the um, yellow ones together, it would have been nice to have three of them though, that I can just hang these somewhere and they'll look like cute real bananas. I don't know about the funny colored bananas though. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got another one of these stands. So those are good just to hang them. Let's check out the uh, food. Get some more bindies. Um, they're in different colors. Oh, no, I dropped one of the fruit and now I don't know where it is. This is, um, looks a bit better. I think I might see a face. I don't know, but I think it is an ice cream. Oh, I do see a face. See the eyes and the mouth? And it's a little ice cream cone baby. So that's, that's cute and delicious. Now I have to find the one that I dropped though down here. I heard it drop. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It went in this bin. Um, oh, it's a pie wedge. I really like pie. It looks like it looks like it's a bug. It's berry pie. Mmm, pie. It's been a long time since I've had pie. Introverts were born for quarantines. They sure were, Jennifer. They sure were. Okay, now let's see the little guy that we have inside. Thanks for your likes, guys. I think, I think this is an octopus with its legs together that plays football. Or maybe it's a sunfish or a squid. A jellyfish. It's a jellyfish. It's a mushroom head jellyfish. Look at the weird eyes. Oh, it's a weird looking animal. My hands are all messed up. Okay, yeah. Um, kind of cute, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't love these, but they're oh cute enough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, let's move on. You know what, let's open up this one. Here's some of the other toys that I'm opening today. If you guys are interested, if you're just joining us, I don't know if I'm opening that or not, but I'm gonna open up this right now. There's lots of weird squishy toys. There's probably the other monkey things that I have that I don't even remember. This stuff was all like just floating around. Oh, man. This is like Mr. Potato Head. Uh, that was just all the loose accessories. I guess I should have known to open it from this side. Can you review some Barbies, please? Um, yeah, I totally will, but it's not going to happen. Today we're going to be doing monkeys, but I do have, you don't, you have no idea how many Barbies I have that are, are coming up really soon. I should probably, um, my next live that I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll show you all of the Barbie stuff that I have to do. And you guys can vote on which you want to see the most. On um, Penguin Power, we have uh, we've opened up some toys, but 
there's definitely lots more to open. This comes with a lot of accessories. Um, I think I expected this to be like more of a figure, more articulated. It's, uh, whoa, comes with the sunflower hat on. It's more of just this solid, like kind of McDonald's toy. It kind of feels like that hollow, that hollow solid plastic. How am I gonna get its face off? I know that its face has to come off because there's all kinds of face. Oh, I got it. Its face comes off. So let's, let me put it back to um, the way it was. So that plugged into there and this plugged into there. Has anyone here seen the movie Wonder Park? Anyone? Anyone? Can you review? Oh, I read that. Um, I am late. No, you're not late. Okay. Um, also, I also would love to see more Barbie reviews. Okay. Okay, I'll do more Barbie reviews. Um... <laughs> R2-D2 as Barbie looks cool. I know it is um, months old, though. Um, yeah, it does look cool. And also, do you know what else it looks? It looks expensive. What are you going to be doing for Easter? I am just going to be lazy and eat chocolate since there's nothing else to do with my relatives coming. Um, yeah, I for Easter, I'm going to make chocolate cream cheese, and I'm going to eat it with almonds. I'll put that over on my uh, big boy channel for sure. And that's the kind of chalk that I'm having. And then I'll, I might, you know what, I'll, I'll probably make chocolate porridge. Try, right now I'm trying to figure out how to put this flower back on its head. I wasn't paying attention when I took it off. I guess it goes on backwards. Is that how it was? No. I can't seem to get it to go back on the way that it's supposed Oh, maybe I have this one on backwards. Oh my goodness. It goes behind its ears. Then I put this on here and here. There we go, okay. I wonder what... Uh-oh. It lost, it lost its face. So that's what it looks like. That's the way that it comes. Now let me um, switch up some of the stuff. Okay, so I take off that hat. Um, I'll take off this face, which I still can't figure out the easiest way to do. And then I'm going to put on this new face. Oh, he looks like me. And then I'm going to put on... This uni <laughs> unicorn head, and then I'm gonna put on these glasses. There's little holes in the tops of the head for I assume that's for the glasses. Yes, so cute. Um, I think you also need to um, use those same holes to put on this tiara. Has anyone seen Wonder Park? I asked them already, but I don't know if anybody has. You um, broke him. I didn't break him. He's supposed to do this. I'm just really clumsy, is all. How does this work? Maybe I don't really know how to do that. Oh, I, I guess that's how you're supposed to do that. Okay, let's see what else I got here. There's so many accessories, though. That's pretty awesome. All right. I can't believe how fast Easter has snuck up on me. I um, have so many Easter reviews to do, and now I'm not going to be able to do them all. But I kind of thought of this as an Easter monkey review. You know, it's all springy and cute. And... He's definitely looking Easter cute like that. But then, 
don't know how to take the face off. There's no, there's no anything to grab onto. And it gets, whoa. And it gets really embedded in there too. Okay. okay. Everything's individually wrapped, so this is a lot of work. Now he looks like Mr. Peanut. And Oh, this is really cute. See how he has a belly button? It can also work as a an outfit holder. But it's kind of like Polly Pocket where, oh, you can see his bum on the back. So it's just for the front. And he's dressed up like a fireman. Let's give him the whole... Um, Doll Universe says you can stay live until Sunday. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So this is his hat. So now he's got the whole fireman outfit on, but the monocle doesn't. Oh, <gasps> the monocle comes off. That's kind of interesting. But then he's got two holes in his face. Maybe there are other little things that you can put on there. I'm going to try to put the monocle back in. Um, I don't know how to take this face off. Oh, could pull on this mustache on that one. Okay. Oh. I've got another cute face. There's so many faces. Maybe that means that I have to get like five different ones. And there are a lot, lots more outfits, too. He's super fancy indeed, Penguin. Jason, I had no idea you were a top model back in the day. I certainly wasn't a top model. Why does everybody say back in the day? I do more modeling now than I've ever done in my life. Um... Okay, so we have this pink outfit. Well, I mean, not in the recent, not in the recent weeks for sure. And this might go with um, the unicorn. And then there's all these things. I don't know what these things are or where they go. here this what is this where does that go oh it's it's to give him a belly that's cute oh I like that I would think that it would have that on most of the time that that is he's supposed to have that on all the time you weren't supposed to see his belly button. I thought that was his belly button, but it wasn't. And then they have this thing, which I guess is supposed to be just a horn or a tuft of hair. That's cute. And then... Do you think that's supposed to be a tuft of hair? I can't think what else this could be except for the top of his head. Oh, I know what it's for. I got it. It's his bunny bum. Where's his ears? Ears, 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 ears. That is cute. Much younger would imply that he is very old and he is not. Oh, no, no, I am very old. You... It is definitely safe to say that I am old. That is really cute. Cute, 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 cute. Um, and then he's got this unicorn tail. Unicorn? Is that what I meant to say? Yeah. 
So you can take that off, take those off, put this back on. <laughs> so funny that he can wear an outfit and that goes on the front, but his other stuff goes on the back. Oh, you know what? And this is also a tail. These were all tails. And do you know what tail that goes with? I know what tail this goes with. Can you guys guess? Does anybody have a guess? It's one outfit that I haven't shown you yet. And it's going to be a surprise. I'll put it all together. Over 90 is old, Jason. I'm not over 90. What are you saying? Can you guys, has anybody guessed what that, what kind of animal this is going to make him? How old are you? Tell him I don't think I want to say anymore. Which Harry Potter set is it? What Harry Potter set? I don't know what Harry Potter set. I know how old Jason is. How do you know how old I am? I don't... <laughs> I don't even know how old I am because I've stopped uh, checking. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's a monkey in a bee's costume. <laughs> he's got antenna and he's got little striped outfit on. And then that's his bum with the little stinger on it. So cute. All right. And then, I have to take out this face, put on this face. I guess I am having fun with this guy. Okay, so what year were you born? I don't want to talk about it. This is substantial, this piece. It is my birthday on, I'll give you this. It's my birthday on the 15th. I don't know what day that is. That's also snuck up on me. Look at this top hat. It is so thick and heavy. I don't think there's really like a tuxedo or anything that goes nicely with this. Can I find his belly? Oh, there it is. I lost his belly there for a second. That is looking real good. He's looking cute. Okay, and then just one more accessory. Can anybody guess? What do you think it is? It's not pictured, pictured on the backing. I mean, it's kind of like a... Some kind of... Fighting faction. I'm gonna give him a, oh no, I took out the monocle again. Okay. Uh, it's um, a really cool, I would love to collect toys that were of this style, but they don't really make any toys like this. I think they made Legos in the 80s in this style. Here we go, here we go. It is a Viking helmet. Look at how cute that is. Again, I don't know which way is front and which way is back. This one I think is irreversible. He still has his stinger tail. Okay, so that is the Wonder Park monkey. He's pretty cool. I hope you gave this video a like, guys, by the way. Um, looks like a Monopoly man. Yeah, he really did look like the Monopoly man with his monocle and everything. I mean, so all of the accessories that came with it. Did we put all those things on? Yes, we tried on all of that stuff. It'll be fun to um, mix and match different outfits later. I'll have to take a picture of him in his monkey outfit for later on. But let's open up the squishy banana. This one I found at a, a random discount store. Not sure how much I paid for it. Oh, it says $3. So I guess that's how much I paid for it. It just looked so realistic. The texture 
It's got it. It's all. I can hear that. Oh, thanks for the likes, guys. Thanks for joining me. And it's all chewy and fun. Oh, I don't want to pull on this too much because I don't want to separate that. I think I saw ones in the store where somebody had ripped the banana out of it. It's reminding me of a Muppet. Ah, it's like Kermit the Frog. Ah, what's coming up next? Ah. Um, yeah, squishy stuff is fun, I have to say. So we have two. This is a different kind of squishy. This isn't like a, not like a slow rise like this. Oh, it's too bad about the markings and the dents on this banana, though. Nice. Let's see if I can put this crown on my head. Oh, thanks for the legs, guys. I see that. That's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Oh. No, that's not good. Um, uh, um, late 70s or early 80s is my guess. Am I close? Late 70s or early 80s is my guess. Am I close? Helen, really now? Are we still? Are we still on this? Um, guys, quit it with the age thing. <laughs> yeah, Jason struggles hard enough with the age thing. Okay, let's see here. ASMR with the banana. Totally was ASMR with the banana. You get rid of the marks with um. Purell. What is Purell? Well, if you find some. Oh, is that hand sanitizer? I'm really against hand sanitizer. I think um, hand sanitizer is responsible for us having um, super viruses like this one. Because we only need like soap and water, yet people go crazy with that. And then things start mutating. Isn't this awesome? We got a monkey in the monkey video. So cute. Look at him. Here's his sticker. He's reminding me right now of the Amazing World. Amazing World was a video game from Gans. And Gans um, are the people that make Webkins. So the Webkins plush. And within that, there was this video game you could go on and you could be these cute little characters that ran around. And then at the dollar store, you could buy, well, at many stores around the world, you could buy these little figures or you could buy the plushes and then you could put in the codes and then you could use that character in the video game. And I loved it so much. I guess it was kind of like Sims City for babies. And it was also like, what's that new game that everybody's playing nowadays? It's like that, except, oh, no, that you could even go fishing, and you would get points and stuff like that. But I loved playing it, just because when you could see them run and their little bums looked so cute, it was adorable. And I think probably um, less kids played it and more, um, more moms played it than anyone. Anyway, adorable. Here's another one. Is there a bunny? There must be a bunny for Valentine's Day. There's a tiger. I think this is a puppy. Any bunnies in here? Here's a bear. Oh, here's the other monkey. So I loved the two monkeys. I used to use the monkey characters all the time because I think monkeys are adorable. Oh, here's a bunny. Here we go with floppy ears. Cute. So that one's good for Easter. And then here's a uh, Ganesh. Here's an elephant with very Indian paint details on it. Anyway, there were lots, and I collected all of the figures, and I actually collected many of the plushes, too. Be back to the banana. The monkeys are adorable. Yes, the monkeys are adorable. Here are the forbidden fruits, or the food, or whatever they are that I can never tell. Um, I don't... Oh, maybe this is an avocado. Do monkeys like avocados? He should have really came with a monkey. Here's more bindies. And I think we got this color combination before. And then, oh, and then we got this apple. And I guess, oh, they have, maybe they're little bugs on the fruit. 
because that's kind of what they look like bugs. But because you know, they have antenna and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I actually really like these little colorful pellets though. And I like that they're coming in all different colors and they're cute. If you're just joining me, I got some other um, pets like um, this a jellyfish. And apparently I dropped the other one, which was a sloth. Oh, here it is over here. Oh, go. Oh, the sloth right here. I guess it's a sloth. I'm guessing at these animals. It's not always easy to tell. And the, each of them come with these funny little stands. I like that they come in different colors. And I like that we don't have any doubles. And I don't like that I can't find my scissors. Here they are. I got all kinds of garbage and toys at my feet right now. This one's the same color. That's disappointing. Guess I spoke too soon. So clumsy. I'm always dropping stuff. Thanks for the likes, guys. Okay. The tiara looks good on you. Thank you, Wonder Toy Boy. That's the stand. It's all viney. Okay. Okay, let's uh, continue on. Let's get bees out of the package. So these are little wooden toys that they're good for. They encourage hand-eye coordination, use of imagination, creativity, counting skills. All of those things I could definitely improve with. So let's see what we got going on here. I think um, I think you can stack them like this, but I think you can all. I think um, the main purpose actually, I think they established that there's no main purpose. Is that you can thread them, however. They're not going to be easy to thread because, yeah, it's definitely not going to be good for any child's hand-eye coordination because you can't get <laughs> you can't get the string through the hole. It's too small. Now you could probably force it. I don't know. Maybe you have to like open up these. I think it's where the paint went through. But all I know is that. They're really cute. How many different? We'd have to put this down a little bit so you can see here the three styles. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, they're made out of wood, and I love natural wooden toys, and they are super cute. You definitely have to admit that, don't you? There's nothing more stunning than to see a man wear a tiara. You think so? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's uh, open, oh, the jujitsu. I'm super stretchy. Um, goo power slingshot. Oh my goodness, he's a slingshot. Um, 13 action figures with unique goo fillings. So let's see. Oh. Do you have to worry about how far you're going to... They said a slingshot, but if he's slow, it's not going to work very well as a slingshot if he's slow. <laughs> Yeah, how can that be a slingshot? Now, the heads are hard. Um, they slingshot their bodies back to exact shape really quickly. That's kind of crazy. Fun. Um, I think I understand the appeal to these now. Do this. I wonder how many kids have ripped these apart though. So if you, it's gotta have liquid inside, right? Or do you think it's all one rubbery texture? We, maybe there isn't anything inside. Do you think, should I try to rip it apart? Oh no, that would, that would, don't do that. I can see how this could be really dangerous.
to get hand is going to go spring back into place. Is it? Are the hands hard or soft? I think he's stuck like this. Oh, the hands are soft. Have you seen anybody break one of these? It's like stretch arm showing, except I don't think he's got the stuff inside. I think the actual, I think it's, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's hollow. I think it is the material. It's better than Stretch Armstrong because it's really moldable and you can make it really thin. And it doesn't ooze. These are cool. I wish that they would have made them just figures though because they did so awesomely with the head sculpts that I would love to have these as just action figures on their own. Maybe I should get them and uh, rip their heads off and then put them on like Masters of the Universe bodies. Oh, it's turning. Yeah, maybe if I find some of these cheap, I'll see what I can do about getting the heads from them and making customized figures. It's from the same people that made the re-release Stretch Armstrong figures. Oh, is it? Wait a minute. Uh, this is Moose Toys. Moose Toys didn't make the Stretch Armstrong figures. That would have been that. Um, that would have been the eighty, the eighties toy company that makes strawberry shortcake, and it used to be they just changed their name. It used to be Bridge Direct, but they have a new name now. What's interesting about chatting with viewers is certain responses regarding the video. I wonder if these responses would have been started face to face. People can be very mean on the internet. Is anybody being mean in this room? The new Stretch Armstrong figures. Oh, the new Stretch Armstrong figures. Um, I have those. I have the whole collection. Um, I didn't get all the vehicles, but I got all of the figures, and I forgot that I have those. I really want to open those. Did Moose Toys make those? I don't think Moose Toys made those. Okay. People didn't like that video. They left for that. Um, here is, these are one of the grossest, weirdest, slimy toys that exist. Wait till you see this. You can get so many different versions. And they all have this surprise inside, and some of the surprises inside are sicker than the others, but this is the one that I wanted to get the most. They kind of look pornographic. Uh oh, they're sticky to the touch. But this one, when you peel it, Oh, that, they, they had sticks to each other. So unlike all of the other ones that I've opened, they weren't sticky. This one is sticky, and it is a giant finger. Look, it has a fingernail and everything. What? And it's like those octopuses that I had when I was a kid, that if you throw them at the, the window, they're going to climb down. But this is so gross. Um, and the fact that it's sticky is making it even grosser. I definitely had to get one of these. I'm glad that I didn't get more of them. I was going they had all kinds of crazy, like different rib designs and popcorn and um yeah. It's um it's sticky and gross. However, speaking of sticky and gross, at the Dollarama here in Canada, you can get this whole collection. You can get a pickle, and I think, I guess you can get, I think, um, maybe that is, is that a banana or a squishy, stretchy, collect all three? Hmm. Maybe one, maybe that's a hot pepper. What do you think that yellow thing is? A pickle and then 
I had to get the one that was a poo. Maybe that's a banana. Can't believe they made a turd one. Now this one is more like Stretch Armstrong because it has the sand inside. You can actually hear that. It sounds like sand. They have these new ones that are kind of like these ones. And there's a werewolf and there is a black lagoon creature and there is um, one other animal that I can't remember. And I think I might have to get them, but I know that they're insides. Anyway, the sculpts on them are really nice. I know that the insides are going to be more like this. Oh, there's something hard in there. Oh, maybe they do that on purpose. So you can feel different things inside. There's this really hard pellet. <laughs> this is not um, keeping it shape, though. It doesn't go back into... I don't know how I would get it back to poo form. So just like poo, <laughs> you can mold it into different poo shapes. No, it's chocolate cake. Um, I don't think it's chocolate cake. Should I taste it? No, no. Oh, it smells. It smells good. It smells like something lemon pie? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's a coincidence. Anyway, it's poo, it's moldable, it's awesome. What were you the kid who would bring a whoopee cushion to school, Jason? Um, no, maybe, no, I, I didn't, I would never bring my boys to school because I wouldn't want them. Um, I got in trouble once for bringing a chain to school though. I made this weapon out of chains and uh, I got in trouble for bringing that to school. Anyway, this is, this is, I thought this was just gonna be a squishy, stretchy toy and instead it just, you can make different lumps of poo. I think that's great. And look, they match. Monkeys love to throw poo. So I thought that was perfect to put in this video. Okay. Oh, my leg went to sleep. I think that's everything, but I got some more stuff to open. I mean, it's not everything. I think it's everything besides these. So let's take a look at the other banana creatures that we have. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. I'm not gonna open up him today, but I will open up him eventually. Thanks for giving the video a like, guy. This is the first poop is the word, word that smells good. The first poop is in the world. Oh, the first poop in the world that smells good. Yes. In fact, it smelled so good, I wanna smell it again. Mm. Oh, now I think it smells like petroleum. Now it smells like a gas station. Now it, wait a minute. Gas stations smell like poo. Okay, let's see which one we get in here. I'll do this backwards. This is some heavy duty packages. I don't understand what those bananas are good for. Maybe for storing them. I did get a different color stand this time. They like that. So I got this orangey colored stand. That's different color. And then my forbidden fruits are definitely a new one. I can't tell what it is it's so small maybe it's a donut that's covered in stuff and a bug of course because they all have bugs on them and then this is another new one i think this one is like an artichoke 
Oh no, it's a corn cob. And yeah, that is a bug that's on the corn. I'm talking about how cows might get protein from all the bugs that they eat. And it looks like there might be just two different kinds of these. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah. Yes, I think there is, but apparently one of my stickers has fallen off one of the other ones. So I think there's two different combinations of bindies that you can get. But all of the pets and snacks have been different. Oh, this is the cutest one yet. Wait, it's a giraffe. It's a baby giraffe with not a long neck. <laughs> See, I thought it was a tiger with a bow in its hair, but those are definitely antlers, and those are its patches, and it just is the shortest necked giraffe you ever did see. And, oh, I really like its ears. It's, it looks even more like a giraffe than a sticker. How come it doesn't have ears like that? Giraffes really do have weird ears, don't they? I have one more of those. Wait, maybe I don't. Didn't I have... Oh no, this could be horrible. I didn't savor the last toy. I didn't know it was my last toy. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, I opened up all of these. Is there anything else I can open? I guess... There's not anything else I can open, but I can review that I got these blocks that don't really work. The poo is staying in the poo shape. We got this. We do not want to talk about this, do we? Um, Jason, I used to prank people a lot and still do. I have this big prank set to prank my parents and little sister. I have to admit I am a little mean but um, um, pranks always work out. That is a funny, Vickers. Um, I actually did have, you made me remember that I, as a kid, had many different pranks. Since I had joy buzzers, and I had all of those cameras that took pictures. You know, those joke shop stuff. That stuff is fun, I have to admit. Hey, give this video a like, guys. Thanks. What do you think about living dead dolls? I think that they're creepy and cool, and I like them, but they're very expensive. But I do like those. How is the weather in Cancun right now? Um, oh, you're asking Mini Dio. Hello from Cancun. I sure wish I was in Cancun right now. That would be a nice place to be in the sun. Jason, I used to, I read that. Um, the first poop is, the, oh, I read that too, so that's good. I'm all caught up. How is the weather? Oh, I read that. Um, living dead, oh, I read that. Um, maybe Mattel would create a living dead doll. Um, that would be really cool if they did that. Oh, they did, they made the new zombie dolls, actually. Those are really cool for the new Disney zombie movie. Enjoying the show. Thanks for joining. Thanks for enjoying it. Thanks for giving the video a like, Wesley. It's good to see. You there, it's good to see Helen here, who knows, right? And she knows, right? Um, OMG, I love living dead dolls. Yeah, they're really cool, Jennifer, aren't they? Um, creepy and cute at the same time. Those are two things that I really love in a toy. You can buy living dead dolls on Facebook. Um, I don't think I can buy anything on Facebook, to tell you the truth. It's really hard being Canadian because shipping is really expensive. And right now we can't ship things anywhere. Oh, really awesome. Okay, so monkey like this that's his mean face and then he has this mr peanut's face but i lost his monocle oh here it is his monocle keeps falling off I think there's an upside down. That's him with his monocle on. And then this is his top hat. The top hat is like the big gem of the package. Hey, where's his monkey tail? I never even thought of that. He didn't come with a regular monkey tail. Wait, where's the box? 
Oh. How how does he not have a monkey tail? They give him a bunny tail. They give him other types of tail. They give him a stinger even, but they don't give him a monkey tail. So I'm gonna dress him up for Easter. That's the most important thing to do. And I'll put a picture on Instagram. I have such a mess down here, you guys wouldn't believe it. Um, I have two on the moment and I have a payment agreement for six others. I wonder what you're talking about there. Um, oh, for the um, oh, for the Living Dead dolls. Can you buy Living Dead dolls on Facebook? Um, you, oh well, no, I can't. Okay, really awesome. Um, I know right for Cancun weather. Um, yes, Cancun, I won't be there. Um, most of them sell from the United States. Yeah, I think they do. But there's a guy across the street um, in the flea market that has all kinds of them. Um, I have two on uh, on the moment. And I have a payment agreement for six others. That is so many. I would have get in touch with serious doll customizers to make living dead dolls. These dolls customizer are very talented. Yeah. Yes, Phil, this is true. There are many very talented customizers. If I could have any living dead doll, what character would I want, though? Hmm. That's a tough question. I have to choose a monkey face. That I don't want for, oh, a, a bunny face. I don't want that face for the bunny. Um, I don't want this face for the bunny. And then I have these two. I think I'm gonna choose this one for the bunny. Yeah. The winking eye is a bit creepy. So this Mr. Potato Monkey is kind of fun to play with. They made lots of great accessories for it. Um, the bunny tail is cute. I am disappointed that there is not a regular monkey tail. Back here. Yeah, he's gonna stay up there. I'm sure he's gonna fall. But while he's sitting up there, I'll do some cleaning up with my odd ends of packages while I read your comments. How are your Lego houses coming along, if you don't mind me asking? Well, Wesley, I haven't really been building any houses. And I was really happy with one of them. I have that pink one that I built on Instagram. Was that the one? I one day I just I dropped it and it shattered into tiny little pieces and went everywhere. I kind of wanted to hang on to it for a little bit, but it is gone. It it totally and I don't mean got a little bit destroyed. It like it evaporated. There wasn't a an ounce of resemblance to it left. Oh, um, I'm pretty much from from my customizations of my dolls. I don't do. I'm just a head swap kind of guy. Well, I mean, sometimes I replace their hands. But I don't think I have it in me to uh, paint the faces and make them perfect like those are very, very talented customizers. So many amazing, talented customizers out there, aren't there? Oh, I wish I had a plastic bag. The worst part about toy collecting is all of the um, packaging material. I really would love to collect action figures that were made out of wood. It's a shame that they don't do that. 
Um, have you heard of a video game called Roblox? I certainly have. You could make yourself an account or you could make your baby a lives accounts. Um, yes, Vickers, I um, read that you wrote that before. I thought that was a good idea, but unfortunately, I just don't have enough time to play. And plus, it's expensive. I think I looked into it. It costs money to play. I don't like that. I think they should be free. I mean, I don't mind that sometimes them offering upgrades and stuff, but I think that the base game, I think it should be free to play. And then if you want super deluxe stuff, you uh, can pay for it. But also, I think you should be able to be able to play on the game lots and lots and be able to win stuff too. Here's some of these other ones you can get, but now, like I said, you can get even more characters. They're cool. I really do need to stop buying toys though, and I've been really good actually. Um, this uh, isolation is really helping me. mostly because the stores aren't open. I miss seeing you hang out with your Baby Alive Lukes. Well, the Baby Alive Lukes are with their moms right now, so um, I won't be able to see them until all of this stuff is lifted. So we'll just have to wait for that. But I do have, I do have that little, I do have a new little brother who I want to open for Easter. He's around here somewhere and um, he's with me. So do you know what those new mini baby alive are called? Because I've got one of those. And what do you guys think of the new baby alive that have my little pony faces? At first I thought they looked like a little um, mentally challenged. But um, they're really growing on me, and I think they're cute. Not that mentally challenged babies can't be cute. They usually are extremely cute. Uh, that's probably an incorrect um, terminology. They're cute. They have funny faces. They look like My Little Pony unicorns, and they're really cute. That's okay, Jason. Also, you so you know the actual game is free, but if you want to get Roblox, you have to get game cards or pay or you credit card. Um, you can earn badges and, well, for certain things. Well, maybe I'll have to see what I can do. I might have to look into playing the basic Roblox game then, Vickers. Wait, I mean, Lisa. Yeah, Vickers. That's right. Um, I would think that the repainting of faces or creation of new faces is very complex. Rerouting hair in, in time consuming, but I think it's easier than um, recreating faces. Um, yes, rooting hair. I would definitely be more apt to do that than repainting faces. Um, Stephen also... Um, I do reroutes um, sometimes to chicken to do face ups. Yeah, I would do reroutes, um, face ups. I would be definitely too afraid to do, Helen. Me too. Um, Stop it. Slender is amazing. Stop it. Slender is amazing. I don't know what slender is, um, but thank you and thanks for your likes. Um, face ups take a lot of time to do. Hmm, I wonder. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't would want I wouldn't want it to look crafty. Uh, I don't want it to be able to see paint. So I don't know how you would do it to make it look like it wasn't hand painted. I don't want a toy that looks hand painted. Um, Carlos Sebastian Neurotic Goth. Hey, hey, Carlos. That is quite the name you have. Um, I do re paints all the time, but I am good at drawing. Oh, well, I wish I was that talented, Moshichi. 
Um, if you go on, if you can and want to friend me, my account is, oh, for some reason it um, blocked that out. Um, Stop It Slender is a Slender Man game in Roblox. Oh. Stop It Slender? Stop It Slender? What kind of game is that? What do you do in that one? You have to use acrylic paints and dilute them so they are not so thick, so they dry flat. Oh, I like these tips. Thank you, Monchichi. Okay, so um, I seem to have lost. Oh no, here they all are. So, yeah, it does look like they're the same combinations of little bindies. Not that I'll ever use those. I really do love these little pieces of food, especially all together. Okay, Ooh, I'm talking a lot. Horror game, but I'm not going to tell you how the game goes. Oh, I like that. Thanks, Wonder Toy Boy. Okay, I actually um, did some good cleaning up around here. So I've got my sticky bananas and my poo and the sticky banana. So this one's so gross. And actually I'm sticking it on my bed frame and it's staying there and it's not moving. And the poo is actually, yeah, I can't. Now, now it smells like petroleum, but it's like sweet petroleum. So maybe it's not a good smell at all. Oh, weird. Really reminds me of the smell of gas stations as a kid. Okay. Gas stations from the 80s. Oh, we went back to my age. So when I was hanging out at gas stations in the 80s, what does that say? I had to be old enough to actually go to the gas stations. Okay, and then we have um, these stackable, stringable, stackable, stringable, but non-stringable monkeys. And then I've got these hard shells. And then I have all of these monkey parts, like Mr. Potato Head monkey parts. And then I have these vines. Oh, do you know what you could do with the vines? You could hang them like this. And then you could put all of your pets. on them. That would be really cute. That's adorable. And the monocle keeps falling off. And then we have these. I love these so much. So there's this guy. These aren't monkeys now. We've moved on, on along monkeys. I have repainted dolls' lips but that's it. Oh yeah, I would think that lips would be the easiest. You guys are very smart. That one. Cute. Thanks for the likes, guys. And this guy. These are cray creatures. If I turn them on, they sound like this. And they all have um, different sounds, actually. And there's this one. They're so cute and so creepy at the same time. This one's a favorite. I have this one in this size, too. Um, Skiro... Skiriosotis is the best one. She is a great teacher. Sk I don't know who that is. 
Maybe she's from that Roblox game. Is that what you're talking about now? And I have this one. That one looks like a octopus with wings. So cool. And this one, lots of like Indian influences, Indian god influences today in all of my toys. I guess Indian um, culture really like monkeys in general. And then there's this horned guy. That's really cute. And then there's this bear one. That's like the longest tongue of them all. It's a beaver. It's got a beaver tail. I think there are many mixed up animals into one. And then... Yeah, I think you're right about those names, Wonder Boy, Wonder Toy Boy. Um, this one's really cute. That one surprises me how cute it is. And then the last is the most monkey-like one, which is why I saved it for last. But it's got this one foot with three toes, and those toenails look so gross. I can't imagine how he travels around. <sighs> Okay, wait, I have the checklist. Here are all their names right here. That was smart of me to keep this. And here's an even bigger checklist. All right, um, I loved seeing you guys today. Thank you so much for giving the video a like. I hope um, to see you guys again real soon. I hope um, you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know below um, what kind of toys that you would like to see me to review. Um, you guys are the best. I uh, hope to see you again real soon. Love you so much. See you again.